Good afternoon. Uh, I'm in County Mayo today and uh, hopefully uh, it's going to be quite a cool weekend. Um, there's some glorious settled dry if cool weather uh, forecast for this weekend and my plan is uh, I've started from Bangor Eris which you can see down there um, so that's the start and finish point of the Bangor Trail uh, so I'm going to head into the wild, the Neffin Wild Wilderness and climb Sleeve Car Mountain from the north now it's the highest mountain in the Neffin Bags and I haven't climbed it from the north before so that's, that's going to be something new for me The real objective is over there, so that's Sleeve Car, so that's the climb that I have ahead of me. And there's quite a quite a dander along the top of it as well, probably a good few kilometres. And then I'll drop down to Scar Dunn Locks, um, and that's a view out to the west and southwest. Uh, quite sharp air today, sort of easterly wind. Uh, which I can really, really feel now the sun has went down. So I can see over to Ackle Island and I can see um, round to Corin and to the Neffin Bags to the south. Now, this uh, lovely bit of bog to cross. Uh, <laughs> hopefully I don't disappear, uh, never to be seen again. Uh, I, I don't think so because um, it, even the ground I've walked so far um, has been fairly dry uh, and, and I think even during February there's been less than, than half the, the average rainfall so it, so it has been fairly dry so I, I'm quite hopeful I'll get across here and start to climb the other side uh, alive. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> now, the last wee bit was pretty wet uh, and it had a floaty feel, so um, I got a bit nervous and I, and I sort of sidetracked around a wee bit uh, just in case. Um, but all in all, uh, not too bad, and that was probably about 2k uh, sort of coming across there. So uh, it's climbing all the way now up to over 700 metres and the uh, top of Sleeve Car. It's half five, so I've about an hour of uh, daylight left. So I've come across these couple of wee small pools of water and I've just filled my water bottles up just in case I decide to do a summit camp instead of walking on in the dark but I'll, I'll see whenever I get up there what it's like. Sun's just setting out to the west, uh, just behind Sleeve Moor and Ackle. Really, really cool sight. Um, it's just the last we push to the top, so uh, I probably am going to do a summit camp.
with the tent up here uh, up in the summer sleeve car so this is at 721 meters and it is absolutely freezing um, I, I had the bivy with me as well but uh, there's no way I'm letting the bivy um, so the, the tent up right it, it just it, it, the wee breeze it's just really really cold that easterly breeze um but the tent will provide that wee bit of extra um i suppose protection or shelter uh so uh, <laughs> uh i i think it's time for something hot uh, as in tea and uh, noodles and chill <laughs> So if you remember from uh, the last time I was out, um, the sole had come off my boots. Uh, actually, it had started to come off the other one as well. So um, I've super glued them. <laughs> and you know what? They're, they're holding up so far. Um, I'm not sure um, how, how long it will. Um, if it doesn't last, I'll, I'll probably go and get them done properly. But you know, it's probably me not washing the boots uh, and getting all the peat and acid off them um, after the trips, um, which is something I've I've really not been too good at recently. So that's probably eating into the, the glue or whatever was holding the sole on. Um, but they're, they're they're holding up uh, for now. <laughs> so it's uh, half eight. Um, <sighs> Uh, you can see how cold it is. Um, my my toes. I, I've taken my boots off and I've got my down booties on, so my my toes are slowly recovering from um, all the faffing about, uh, putting the tent up and stuff um, up here in the top of the sleeve car. Um, so I've I've had um, something to eat. I've I've had my tea and. Um, it's it's probably time to get in the sleeping bag and get warm. Uh, there's a wee bit of a breeze knocking about, but it's it's literally nothing. Um, and, and I do think it, it, it is to die down uh, e even more. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if it's to clear tonight. If it does, I I, I think it'll get uh, pretty cold. Um, so yeah, just a bit slower than planned today. I plan to um, get a cross sleeve car and down the scarred on locks um, I, I camped there when I was doing the Bangor Trail uh, just on the, on the wee sandy shore and it was absolutely stunning apart from the fact that there was 50 million midges uh, <laughs> so I wanted to go back and uh, experience it without the midges so um, I'm, I'm going off to come back again <laughs> you know but that's 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 not too bad at all um, so yeah, um, I, I, I think it's uh, time to, to get to sleep, so uh, I'll, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. <laughs> See, it's a bit breezy, and it was pretty much like this throughout the whole night. Uh, now I have a wee bit of shelter here with the big cairn, and on the other side of that, I would absolutely blow you away. Um, a really, really strong wind. Uh, really cold last night as well. Um, there's ice on the uh, inside of the tent, and everything is frozen solid. You can see there, um, there was just a bit of water left in uh, my pan and it's frozen solid as well. So I really felt the cold last night. I actually um, 
got the bivvy bag and uh, put it on over the sleeping bag as well, which made actually quite a difference. Um, so not a great night's sleep, just with the cold and the wind. Um, but I'm, I'm not feeling too tired this morning. Uh, the sun is just up and hopefully that'll bring a wee bit of warmth. Uh, <laughs> uh, and hopefully a couple of tea will do the, do the same, so I'll, I'll get my tea and my breakfast on the go. All packed up eventually, um, with uh, frozen toes and, and frozen fingers. Uh, so I, again, I, I've left this place uh, the way I found it, and you shouldn't know I've been here. So I've been thinking about my plan and the original plan was to climb Neffa Beg. Uh, I ain't going to do that. Uh, <laughs> lazy me, lazy me. Um, I'm going to head down to Scardon Locks, follow those uh, down and follow the river that drops down to the Bangor Trail. And there are some really cool waterfalls uh, dropping down off there. And then I'm just going to take it nice and easy up along the Bangor Trail and get them a campsite um, with plenty of daylight left uh, un unlike uh, last night and my plan is to camp at the footbridge uh, which crosses uh, over the river Did you ever watch that game show Bullseye with Jim Bowen and, and the darts? And uh, he always would have said, this is what you could have won, uh, usually like a speedboat or something. Um, here's what I could have won. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. <laughs> so this is uh, where I had intended to camp. And it's literally tropical here. Oh man, the sun is beaming. There's hardly a breath of air. If I think back up the top of sleeve car, where I couldn't feel my fingers and my toes, and uh, the wind was was just trying to, to blow everything away. Oh man, um, I'm near enough tempted to just stay here all day, um, but I know I can't do that. Um, Wow, um, but it's just a great spot and the one and only time I, I have camped here uh, as I say when I was doing the Bangor Trail and it was dark, it was raining, uh, I, I was soaking, my feet were wet, there was midges uh, and even then I thought wow what a cool place with, with, with all that. Um, so I, I will uh, make a point of returning here and, and while camping at this spot. This is 
the final drop. So I'm going to follow these waterfalls uh, all the way down to the Bangor Trail just at the bottom. And you can just see what a vast expanse of sort of bog this is. And a really, really remote, lonely place to be walking through. Following that river and those waterfalls is a really, really cool way uh, to drop down uh, to the Bangor Trail. Uh, absolutely stunning. And I'm officially on the Bangor Trail, as you can see from the way mark. So uh, I've probably, I don't know, maybe 8, 9k to get to the footbridge where I'm uh, going to camp this evening. This is an old boffe and it was done up, goodness, quite a few years ago um, and it's quite a appalling state uh, at the moment. Um, it's more like a recycling or, or rubbish centre to be honest. Um, just a complete mess, the floor is gone, uh, part of the roof is gone. Uh, and it's just collected a lot of waste uh, why anyone would even want to maybe use this at the minute I don't know but um, you know what if, if it was repaired again it would be actually um, a really really cool wee spot on the trail there's the wee stream, stream just, just beside for a source of water as well so um, yeah it's just a pity that these things um, <laughs> maybe fall in the ruin, but uh, you maybe get money for the initial bit of work, but then who, who keeps it going? Turns out the last bit of the bridge isn't a very wet bit because uh, they put this boardwalk in since I've been here before. Uh, when I was here before they had the, the planks laying about uh, but this is going to make it a, a nice easy walk and the bridge is just over there. Six o'clock, uh, so no way I would have made it over an effing bag uh, <laughs> and up here for a camp. So uh, I was going to realise that. I knew what else is new here apart from that boardwalk. Ta da! <laughs> There's a bothy. Um, so it's got two rooms, and, and you know what? I'm going to sleep in here tonight because <laughs> it is Baltic freezing again. Um, and this is going to be a, a wee bit of a contrast to last night um, up there on the top of Sleeve Car. So, uh, quite basic, but there you go. It's a nice square space.
<laughs> this is so cool. Um, that this, uh, my sense is this is it's not quite finished. This bothy, uh, and it is split into two, uh, both equal sizes, uh, and you can easily sleep. Um, I don't know four or five people in in, in each of these. Uh, and the wind is is howling outside at times. So I, I'm so, so grateful um, <laughs> that, that I've got this space. And it's actually, it feels warm in here. Um, really, really cool. Um, I'm actually a bit more nervous um, in here than would be like on the top of a mountain. I'm uh, just expecting like somebody to knock the door in the middle of the night. Good morning, uh, it's just after seven and it's really flat calm this morning. Uh, at times last night the wind was really blowing out of light, so uh, I was really glad to uh, be inside this uh, bothy. Um, and at a, well, at an okay sleep, I think at times, um, just again, strange places in me sometimes don't just uh, mix up well together. I've read a cup of tea, have another one on the go, um, and I'll have breakfast, and then I'll, I'll uh, pack up and be on my way. And it is a lovely morning. Look at that. Yeah, really flat calm. Hardly a cloud in the sky and the sun um, getting ready to appear, I think. Beautiful spot for a bothy. Lots of frog spawn along the trail and there's even some wee tadpoles emerging. A sign of the times or a sign of the seasons. That's me uh, near back at Bangareras, which you can see there. Um, so that was nearly three hours from the Bothy and the footbridge. Now that's at my pace. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure that people would do it a lot quicker. Um, and I'm officially going to rename the Bangor Trail the Bangor Stream or the Bangor River because it is just unrelentingly wet. It literally is like walking through the bed of a stream. Um, and you just have to experience, as I've already said, so much energy to try and, you know, find. Um, Pass off to the side um, and, and I thought I was doing quite well but my foot did disappear there shortly. Uh, I go um, up, up over the edge of the boot so I can feel my boot wet. I thought my boots had been coping okay but um, if anyone's wanting to test boots um, the bank of trail is probably the, the place to do it. Um, so that's been um, 
two nights and two days, well, a full day and two half days in the Wild Neffin National Park. Um, and really cool again to be trying out something different to be uh, tackling sleeve car from the north, which I hadn't done before. Um, a, a bit of a wild camp on the summit with the wind and the cold, but that was okay. I was soon forgotten about the next morning, glorious day. Um, dropping down alongside the Corrie Locks and Scarlet Locks and the waterfalls to the Bangor Trail, and then the wet, wet, wet. Um, uh, though it was uh, just ah, oh, it was unbelievable to, to find that bothy, which is is completely new, is just about finished, um, and was such a cool place to stay in uh, for uh, last night. Really, really fantastic. Um, so really, really cool trip. Um, I think about 36 kilometres maybe, with about 1,400 metres of climbing and, and going down. Um, and just really, really cool, uh, as I always say, to be out in the mountains. Um, it just re-energises, it, it adds life. Um, it's just absolutely fantastic. Um, and that wee break will keep me going for a while yet. So, uh, goodbye until the next one.